Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a very beginner friendly tutorial. It's gonna be an easy sewing project and we're gonna make this cozy blanket scarf. I always loved blanket scarves. I like the way they look. I usually wear my blanket scarf around my neck like so, but sometimes I just take it off and wrap myself in it to keep me extra warm when I'm, for example, sitting at the office or watching a film and I get a little chilly. And this project is really perfect for anyone who just started out sewing. All you have to be able to do is to use the straight stitch on your sewing machine and to handle scissors. It's that easy. So if you want to know how to make this cute blanket scarf, then please keep watching. All right, so here I have the fabric that I'm going to use for my scarf. The fabric is 1.5 meters wide, that is about 1.6 meters. And all I have to do is to grab one corner of the fabric and fold it triangularly. Now, preferably, you would do it without a husky stepping on your fabric. What I like doing first though is to cut back this edge a little bit so that I have a nice clean line. So I'm going to cut about one inch from the edge because this is going to be big enough. And I'm also going to cut this edge so that this line will be also clean. probably guessed it, I'm also gonna go on this side and cut the edge back. And once all these three edges are cut back so that we have a nice clean line on each side, I can start folding the fabric triangularly. And the way I folded it, I can already see where the edge of this side is going to be. So I'm gonna cut it along the line. That's why I wanted to use checked fabric for this project because it makes it so much easier, especially if you are a beginner. Alrighty, so now we have here this triangular shape that's basically our future scarf. The next step is to go to the sewing machine and we have to sew around all edges with a straight stitch and the distance from all the edges will depend on how long you want the fringe to be because we're gonna fray out the edge once we secured the edges with a straight stitch. I already have one scarf like this and that's the length of the fringe. So I would say it's a little bit more than an inch, but that is of course entirely up to you. Oh, and here we have my helper. So this is Shadow. He is our rescue husky. We love him very much. I post occasionally vlogs with him on my vlogging channel and he's very often to be seen in my videos. So if you're interested in that, I will link my vlogging channel here in the right corner and also in the video description. I threaded my sewing machine. I have decided I will be sewing with a dark brown yarn. So I have dark brown yarn both on the top and also below on my bobbin. If you're new to sewing and if you don't know how to thread a sewing machine and how to wind a bobbin, I have a great playlist named Introduction to Sewing Machine where I covered all the basics that you need to know in order to start. And now I will grab this spare piece of the same fabric I'm using for my scar. And I wanna do a little test just to see what settings work the best. I always recommend doing that, especially if you're sewing with a new fabric or if you simply haven't used your machine in a while, 
because sometimes some dust can collect in a machine and things can get tangled. That's also all covered in the introduction to sewing machine. So I'm gonna use simply straight stitch. So I'm gonna lower the sewing foot and I will sew a little bit through uh, a little bit of this spare piece of fabric. I'm really happy I actually did the little test because something was not correct. I threaded the yarn here on the top again and now everything sounds smooth. So that's definitely a good thing to do. Just make it a habit whenever you're starting a sewing project. Grab a piece of spare fabric, exactly the fabric that you're working with and try out a few settings because once you move on to the very piece you're making you won't have any mishaps. And now I have to decide on how far I want to be sewing from the edge because it has to be everywhere the same distance and when I look at the pattern what looks really good to me would be one and quarter of an inch. In the metric system that's approximately 3 to 3.2 centimeters. That looks really good. So I will make sure that when I put the fabric here um, into my sewing machine there are all these lines with numbers on the side and I will see with which line I need to align the edge of the fabric. I'm gonna go a little bit closer with the camera so that you can see it also from the same angle I'm looking at it. Alright so that's the angle I'm looking at so here you have all these lines on the sewing table and this is how I align the fabric and all I have to do now is to start sewing but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the machine on like set the machine so that it will do the sew up for me because my machine has that function and I also want at the end the machine to chop the thread for me but one thing that's really useful is to measure from the back edge the exact distance that you're gonna be sewing at and it's really easy here because it aligns here with this line I'm still gonna put in a pin and I'm also gonna do it at the other end of the fabric so that I know where I need to stop sewing and where I need to turn 90 degrees so that I would be sewing along the other edge and it's very convenient because it's again here this edge and now I can move back to the beginning. So we said we're gonna align the fabric with 3.5 here. And here I will align the needle exactly with the mark. I'll lower the needle. And now I can start sewing. So the machine did the sew up for me. And we can continue. One thing I noticed is that the left edge of the sewing foot is at this distance aligned with this line, so that makes it really easy. Now I'm approaching the end, so we are almost at our mark. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit and one more stitch and that's it. I'm gonna lift the sewing foot and now I'm gonna turn the fabric at 90 degrees. I'm gonna lower the sewing foot again and I can sew further. And the good thing is that I'm simply sewing along this dark line. So that's gonna make it really easy. And I have to mark the end so that I know where to stop sewing and where to turn the fabric, but you've already seen that, so no need to show it again. I think you got the idea at this point. So I'll talk to you once I've finished this part. One thing I recommend doing is at the place where you started and stop sewing, tying the ends of the yarn together, even if you did the sew up because that secures the yarn so that the stitches couldn't open. And now the next step is to fray the edges out. So I always like grabbing either buttonhole scissors or something sharp and I always start small. So I never go like deep in and never yank 
at it always uh, go rather closer to the edge and do it little by little and I'll continue doing that until I reach the straight stitch and that's what's securing the fabric so that it couldn't get frayed any further and I will do it around each edge so this is gonna take a while I always make sure that I have close by my little box that I'm using as my table trash can and that way I can put the yarn immediately in so that I don't end up having mess on my desk. I finished the first edge so here's what it looks like and now I have to go on and fray out the three remaining edges. One thing you can do in order to make this corner secure is to take two uh, threads on each end and you can tie them together because then you will make sure that it doesn't fray out further or you will stitch around the edge a couple of times and um, then do the sew up. So I personally don't feel like doing the stitching so I'm just gonna grab two threads from each row and I will make a simple knot and then I'll double it. Well, and that is it. It's really super easy. Theoretically, you don't even have to sew around the edges. You can turn it into a no-sew project, but in that case, you would have to mark exactly how far you want to fray the edges out. And in that case, I would recommend doing in each corner a few stitches on one place to secure the edges so that the fabric wouldn't fray out further or tying a few of the threads just like I did. And that's all. The way I usually wear my blanket scarf is this. So I usually fold the top a little bit like so. And then I make sure that uh, the edge that's here on the bottom is centered and then I wrap it around my neck I get the hair out and then I adjust it as I need and sometimes when I'm wearing it over my fall leather jacket that has a little bit slippery surface and these two ends tend to sometimes slide towards the back so in that case I would make a simple knot here when I wear it over the jacket and it will keep me nicely warm and uh, then the other way how I'm using this scarf is to wrap my shoulders in it. And that always depends on how cold I am, how warm I want to keep. So, for example, today when I came to the office, it was really cold. And even though I turned on the furnace, it took a little bit until it got warmer. So I wrapped myself completely in the scarf like this really like in a blanket and that will just keep you so warm it's just so nice for example if you go to a restaurant and you have just a thin sweater and it's just too cold there that's a perfect piece to have with you and sometimes I fold it a little bit like so and this is what I do just to keep more like my shoulders and my back warm and then my hands are also free and it's really easy to type on my computer or to edit so these are the ways how I personally like wearing my blanket scarf and that's gonna be it for today if you are a sewing beginner I will link a few playlists down below that might be helpful for you and if you're gonna make yourself this blanket scarf and if you're gonna post pictures on Instagram, you can of course tag me. My Instagram account is linked down below. And I also thought that this would be already a wonderful Christmas present idea or birthday present idea. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. God bless you and see you soon with my next project. <music>